two quick questions. One on uh, Senator Harris. Very simply, is she going to help but, uh, former Vice President Biden's chances in November, or is she not hurt? Well, I like Vice President Mike Pence much better. He is solid as a rock. He's been a fantastic vice president. He's done everything you can do. He's respected by every religious group, whether it's evangelical, whether it's any other group, they respect Mike Pence. Uh, he's been a great vice president, and I will take him over Kamala and the horrible way she again treated Justice Kavanaugh, that was a horrible event. I thought it was terrible for her. I thought it was terrible for our nation. I thought she was the meanest, uh, the the most horrible, most disrespectful of anybody in the U.S. Senate. She's also known, from what I understand, as being just about the most liberal person in the U.S. Senate. And I would have thought that Biden would have tried to stay away from that a little bit because with what they're doing with open borders and sanctuary cities where they're trying to protect sanctuary cities, which is also protecting large number of criminals. Uh, with all of the things that they're doing, uh, Second Amendment, they want to take away your Second Amendment or modify it to a point where it's essentially no longer the Second Amendment. I would have thought he would have gone a different way. So regarding uh, Senator Harris's record, you had a, a pretty uh, quick response to that. You had an ad out that said that she was a phony. And I wanted to drill down. She was a what? A phony. Phony. Oh. And I wanted to ask about a specific example that a lot of people thought was a phony moment. Um, as San Francisco DA, she oversaw, according to the Mercury News, 1,900 marijuana convictions. But she was asked in an interview last year if she had smoked marijuana, and she appeared to joke and, according to some people, lie and say that she was listening to Snoop Dogg and Tupac while their music hadn't come out at the time, while she said she was smoking pot listening to it. Um, why, why would she lie about that? Do you see that as more evidence that is surpassed on marijuana a liability? Well, she lied. I mean, she said things that were untrue. Uh, she is uh, a person that's told many, many stories that weren't true. She's very big into raising taxes. She wants to slash funds for our military at a level that nobody can even believe. She uh, is against fracking. Fracking is, she's against petroleum products. I mean, how do you do that and go into Pennsylvania or Ohio or Oklahoma or the great state of Texas? She's against uh, fracking. Fracking's a big deal. Uh, she's in favor of socialized medicine, where you're going to lose your doctors, you're going to lose your plan. She wants to take uh, your health care plans away from 180 million Americans. 180 million Americans that are very happy with their health insurance, and she wants to take that away. So she was my number one pick. I mean, she was, as they would say, because hopefully you'll start college football, she was my number one draft pick. And we'll see how she works out. She did very, very poorly in the uh, primaries, as you know. She was expected to do well, and she was she ended up at right around two percent and spent a lot of money she had a lot of things happening and so i was a little surprised that he picked her i've been watching her for a long time and i was a little surprised she was extraordinarily nasty to uh, kavanaugh Ju judge kavanaugh then now justice kavanaugh she was nasty to a level that was just uh, a horrible thing the way she was the way she treated now justice kavanaugh and I won't forget that soon. So she did very poorly in the primaries, and now she's chosen. So let's see how that all works out. Or does the marijuana legalization vote for you rather than her because she convicted so many people in the past? Uh, I can't tell you what she's voting for. I don't think she knows what. I think Joe knows even less than she does. But I was a little surprised at the pick. A lot of people would say that might be the pick. I was more surprised than anything else because... She did so poorly. Many people did much better than her in the primaries. She did very poorly in the primaries. And that's like a poll. You know, that's like a poll. But as far as Kamala is concerned, she's a big tax raiser. She's a big uh, slasher of funds for our military. And she's uh, got a lot of difficult things that she's going to have to explain. Plus, she was very, very nasty to one of the reasons that surprised me, she was very, she was probably nastier than 
even Pocahontas to Joe Biden. She was very disrespectful to Joe Biden. And it's hard to pick somebody that's that disrespectful when she said things during the debates, during the Democrat primary debates that were horrible about Sleepy Joe. And uh, I would think that he wouldn't have picked.